Hey guys, Emily from Food Box HQ here. Today we're talking about Real Eats. Real Eats is an at-home meal delivery service that cooks things a little bit differently using sous vide. So let's check out what's in our box. All right, so inside your box, everything's gonna come inside this package. Um, there's some ice packs at the bottom, but everything's gonna come chilled. Our stuff is actually frozen because we got it a couple of days early and weren't able to review. So all of these are gonna be frozen. So it looks like we've got some breakfasts here. We've got some coconut chia oatmeal. We have huevos rancheros frittata. We have a baked blueberry oatmeal. We've got some lunches we've got, or lunches or dinners, I guess. Dijon mustard steak with spring vegetable medley and loaded cauliflower mash. We've got local squash and chickpea curry with organic quinoa and toasted pepitas. We have Greek chicken with gently steamed broccoli, couscous and veggies. We've got another breakfast, a hearty roasted breakfast hash. We've got some grass-fed beef bolognese with fusilli marinara and steamed asparagus and parm. And we even have some snacks and sides. So we've got a perfect bar. We have a sous vide egg bite. We even have some green juice here. So a pure green with lemon and ginger. We have the stir fry veggie rice side. And last but certainly not least, we have some Justin's peanut butter cups. So let's get organized and talk about how all this works. So Real Eats was started by a single father who was looking for some healthy options outside of the, you know, weeknight frozen pizza for his kids and stumbled across something that is used in restaurants, which is called sous vide. So if you're not familiar, sous vide is a technique of boiling pre-cooked food in these sort of plastic packages. So you lock in all of that flavor and that moisture while also not, you know, drying anything out or even making things, you know, tasting boiled. They have a ton of different selections on the site. You can choose from breakfast, they obviously have lunches and dinners, but they also have sides and proteins. So if you're just looking for, you know, a couple of chickens for the week so that you don't have to cook everything all the time, they have those supplements as well. And obviously the snacks, as you saw. So when your meals arrive, they're gonna come chilled uh, or refrigerated. And there's gonna be a little piece of paper in the box that tells you when you can use these until. So we weren't able to film right away. So something we saw on the website was that we were able to throw these in the freezer and then use them later on. So we were able to take a little bit of longer time, um, but because of that, we're gonna be boiling these for a little bit longer than the recommended time on the back of the packaging, just cause we're bringing them up from freezing. So we're gonna do two different taste tests. We're gonna try both the breakfast and the main meal. So we are gonna try the hearty roasted breakfast hash and the Greek chicken with the gently steamed broccoli. So let's get cooking. All right, now it's time for the taste test. Mmm. Wow. There's a ton of flavor in that. Potatoes are perfect. The chicken sausage and how everything comes together with the peppers and the potatoes are delicious. Mmm. All right, let's hold on that for a second. And now let's try the main meal. So here we've got our chicken, we've got the couscous and the broccoli. Let's see how the broccoli came out. That is perfectly steamed broccoli. There's still some crunch to it. It's not overly soggy, which is impressive. Wow. That's so good. There's almost like a little spice to it too. Ooh, hmm. That's interesting. All right, now let's try the couscous. Hmm, perfect. Not overcooked. Again, I'm surprised because I boiled it a lot longer. We were kind of guessing on the time. Wow, that's really delicious. All right, and now for a bite of the chicken. I forgot to grab a knife, so we're just gonna wing it. Mmm, mmm, wow. 
I fully expected that to be very dry. That is not dry at all. The pesto is delicious and that chicken is very tender and still very juicy. I'm probably gonna go finish the rest of it just like this. I'll see you in a little bit for some final thoughts. All right, so just a quick wrap up on Real Eats. First off, I wanna say that meal was absolutely delicious. I was a little bit worried that it would taste essentially boiled and it didn't. It tasted like I was eating in a restaurant. I think that's one of the coolest things about this, right? You can have a restaurant quality complex meal that is ready within about 10 minutes and you don't really have to do anything for it. It doesn't taste like a microwave meal, it tastes like you sat there and spent the hours and hours that it takes to craft all of these different recipes. I will say I did take a look at the nutritional facts and it is a little bit on the high end in terms of sodium. So just be mindful of that when you're selecting different meals. And the other thing to be mindful of is it is a little bit more plastic than we've typically seen in terms of having everything in those bags. However, you don't have your plastic trays. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. Real Eats has such a wide selection of breakfasts, lunches, dinners, snacks, sides, however you wanna use it, it can supplement your week and just make your life a lot easier. So if you're looking for some delicious, easy to make meals right in your own home, click the link below and check out Real Eats.